Inner Sanctum Mystery. Starring Santa Satrega. Brought to you by the makers of Carter's Little Liverpool. The best friends to your sunny disposition. Would you? Pest, you call it. Who 
If you look closely, you'll see that it's a few days old. I didn't kill Mr. Kirk. I have no reason to kill him or anyone else. I'm a peaceful, law-abiding citizen. Did you know Mr. Kirsch? Not very well. I nodded to him whenever I saw him. Mr. Hagen, do you live alone? Yes. What do you do for a living? I'm retired. All right, Hagen, I guess that's all right now. Good night, officer. I hope you find a criminal. We will. Why don't you look where you're going? You step to my cat's tail. Hey, wait a minute. Dan Kirsch was killed trying to get rid of the bomb cat which had been disturbing the fleet. Your cat might have been one of them. Very possible. You love cats, don't you? Yes, I'm quite fond of them. I have two. So, you have three. That's right. There are four or five other families in this tenement to keep cats. I guess there are millions of people who own them as pets. There's nothing strange or queer about keeping pets. Nothing strange about keeping a pet, but free is something different. I ain't going now, but I'll be back. There's nothing I can pin on you, but somehow I feel that you know more than you appear to know. You look into this more thoroughly later. Good night, Mr. Murder case, or I'm 
Murdered man's money was discovered near the spot where the body was found. Torn to shreds. Residents of Bailey Street are asked to cooperate with the police by reporting any suspicious character immediately. And to take extra precautions until the criminal is apprehended. The man may be a deranged killer. And now the sports. The boxing... This is a madman. Bobby, come here. Yes, it's time for you to go to bed, darling. I have a surprise for you. How would you like to sleep in Mommy's bed? With you, Mommy? Yes, darling. Both of us together. <laughs> and you can have a holiday tomorrow. And I don't have to go to school? No, you can stay home with Mommy all day. Bobby, come here. Oh, your hand's cold, Mommy. Who's there? Just got a telephone call that a suspicious looking fellow was seen going into this house. Hear anybody walking past your door? Yes, someone seemed to be in a hurry. Which way did he go? Well, it seemed to me as if he were going upstairs. Then I'm not sure, but I thought I heard footsteps in the vacant apartment directly above me. Thank you, ma'am.
Hold the flame silent till you walk. Keeping your head erect with dignity. Do you answer? And you, Sheba, my only remaining friend. They've killed our Apollo. No more will he sit in my lap. No more will I stroke his rich glossy fur. I'm never to hear his sweet purring again. The priest is a thought again. I shan't go unpunished. I swear to you. I'll wipe that murderer from the face of the earth. I'll kill him by degrees. Let him feel the torture suffering of slow suffocation. I'll squeeze his breath from him until he begs with his eyes for pity. Until the muscles cracked in his throat. Until his brow becomes deaf with the cold touch of death. I promise you, Sheba, Empress, I won't rest until you're dead. Dead by my own two hands. <laughs> I'm so nervous in this place, Phil. I can't be too sure in this house anymore. Every time I hear a knock on the door, my heart jumps into my mouth. I don't think there's anything more to worry about. You don't think the maniac will come back? I don't think it was a maniac, Mrs. Jeff. You don't? Well, what makes you think? Oh, I don't know. I just think. Mr. Hagen, I heard about you catching Phil last night. It's a shame. He was such a beautiful animal and so smart. He killed my Cold blood. Oh, I hate them all. Kill them, I know. But I wouldn't hate them. After all, they didn't mean to do it. All I know is that they shot Apollo. I'm worried about my other cat, Sheba. Have you seen her at all today? Yes, she was in the hall a little while ago. Oh, I tell you, Mr. Hagen, this house is giving me a nervous breakdown. I haven't let Bobby go to school for two days. I'm afraid I don't know what to do. I have so much shopping to do, and I'm afraid to leave him alone. Tell me, would it be too much trouble, Mr. Hagen, if I asked you to stay with Bobby while I do some shopping? Well, of course, Mrs. Jackson. I'm glad to watch him for you. Oh, thank you so much. How does that I'll just get my purse. I won't be more than 15 minutes. That's all right. No need to worry. There's nothing special to do anyway. Oh, here's the cat now. It's just walking. Oh, here you are, my darling. Been hiding in the hall, haven't you? Now you be a good boy, Bobby. You don't keep missing me. What did you say, Mommy? So you're having a holiday, are you, Bobby? Uh-huh. Yes, Miss Hagen. Mine wants me to stay home. What's that you know? I'm in the 1A4. Certainly the first or second scene. Oh, that's very good. You know any fun? Oh, oh, yeah, I know. Hickory Dickory Dog. Let me hear it. Oh. Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you recite a poem, I'll recite one off. You promise? Yes, I promise. Yes. Right. Hickory, hickory, dot. The mouse ran out the clock. The clock struck one, and down he ran. Hickory, hickory, dot. Very good. Now, now you recite. All right. Pussycat, pussycat, where have you been? I went to London to see the queen. <laughs> pussycat, pussycat, what did you there? I frightened a little <laughs> mouse under her. <laughs> Why? Tell me more. All right, you know this one. Ding, dong, bell. Well, she's a little well, well. You already recited one about a cat. You're not telling me one about a dog. Don't you like cats? Oh. Oh, I like dogs best. I wish I had a dog. Oh. Oh, well, I like dogs every time kind of better than cats. Keep quiet, you little fool. Oh. What do you know about cats? Nothing at all. Oh. Are you mad at me, Mr. Hagen? I don't like little boys who don't know what they're talking about. Oh, here you pussy, here pussy, here pussy. I don't know how to tell. Oh, 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 I can see that you're out by the neck. Get your hands off of your little friend. Oh, 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 Just like the rest of your breed, I'll take care of you. You'll never hurt another one. Oh, 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 oh
Torment my cat, will you? Kill him, Either of you will have a hand in my cat's again. Kill him, Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Now he's trying to save you. Stop there, you. Don't come any nearer. I've got a knife. Any of you, can you come any closer? Your cheerful self for change. 
Why don't you see if you can't get your good disposition back again? How can I when I feel so rosy and sluggish? Try Carter's little liver pill. Right, and when you don't feel good, try Carter's little liver pill. They do the work of calomel, but have no calomel in them. For they are simple pills made of vegetable drugs. They wake up the flow of one of our most vital suggested juices. When this vital juice flows at the rate of about two pints a day, it helps to digest our food and bring back the glorious feeling that goes with regularity. Then most folks feel like happy days are here again. But be sure you get the genuine Carter's Little Liver Pill. 25 cents at all the stores. This is the Blue Network, operated by the National Board.